the book of Exodus, it's the golden calf chapter, chapter 32, and we're just going today to read verse 21. Moses has got the Ten Commandments, he came down, the people were partying and, par and playing, the Ten Commandments are broken, the people have broken the commandments, and Moses has come, he's de destroyed the idol they were worshiping, burn it in the fire, etc., and now he's going to confront Aaron. So let's start with that, and let's look at verse 21, just 21 this morning. And Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you that you have brought such great sin upon them? I just want to take one thing here today. It's very simple. Uh, Moses had assigned the leadership while he was gone. That was assigned over to Aaron. Aaron was leading the people. And so who's responsible for this absolute mayhem and apostasy that has happened while Moses has been gone? Aaron's the responsible person. And notice that Moses lays the blame quite exactly and quite plainly. Notice the question of Moses, what did this people do to you? And when we think about the crazy things coming into the churches in this, our day, uh, we have to almost ask the same question, don't we? What have these people done to you, you leaders, you weak leaders, that, that you're allowing this absolute chaos and mayhem to happen? What, has he, what have the people done to you? There's a lot of weak leadership, which isn't leadership at all. Just kind of a, a spirit, a disposition to yield. Whatever the people we, we want, that's what we're going to do. And so this is what we continue to see. Notice the question is, what great sin you, you, Aaron, have brought upon the people? What great sin have you brought upon them? So he's putting it straight on Aaron. And then also this phrase, great sin, this great sin. That phrase is always associated in the Bible with adultery. And so he, he, Moses is accusing Aaron of causing the people to commit spiritual adultery, which they obviously did. So the blame is laid exactly at the foot of Aaron, the leadership. You know, Aaron is going to blame the people. We'll see that tomorrow morning, but the real buck stops with the leaders. And today, what God's people need is strong leadership, very strong leadership. And maybe Aaron felt like, well, if I don't do what they say, they'll kill me. Well, that's okay. God is God is, is the one that will deal with that kind of a problem. But you need to be faithful. You can't just say, well, we're just going to do what the people said because they're uh, they're putting pressure on me. No, we've got to be faithful, faithful to God, faithful to his word, and, and God will take care of the rest. So let's see tomorrow morning some more about Aaron, how Aaron responds. Moses has accused him, and now we'll look at the response. <music>